interrupt. Nothing. What you doing? Hey. Yo, everybody, it's me. Uh, we're back playing one of my old favorites. Uh, not old, um, but chancy favorites. I'm going to take this to a league. I've I've been having so much fun with it. And um, no, there's no new cards. The newest card in here is a new uh, newer version of this build being in that I'm including Cliff, uh, uh, Cliffhaven Kite Sale. And Chimsky and Shirazwan, as always, thanks for joining me nice and early, my friends. So it's quite a bit of a gamble. Honestly, I wouldn't do this if I was playing with... Um, my money, but we're playing with house money, that courtesy of uh, Chris at Carousel Games, who's been funding a lot of our league outings lately. So, been having three, two or betters mostly. Um, hopefully that continues here. I predict either a horrible outing or a really surprising outing. I don't think it'll go middle of the road. Um, this thing's capable of some really uh, ridiculous draws. It's one of these decks where you always want to go second, which I have written down on this piece of paper here. I'm sure I'll forget, but uh, I'm really, really trying. I'll consider it a success if I go second every game. Um, the other thing is you can, this, this thing can win like on turn three, per, like it can just get so much out so early. Like you just have like eight or 10 power on the board on turn two sometimes. And it just feels like, why isn't everybody playing this? And then, uh, you find out why the very next game, but I just kind of want to throw it to the fire and see how it does here. So join me. Uh, this is one of our highest rated videos. Last time I, I, uh, debuted this list. Um, I call it zero. Um, there's so many ways to build this. Yeah. You can go black, you can go red, you can, um, I just like to keep it uh, nice and simple. Bastion Inventor is easily the best uh, improvised mechanic. The biggest problem here is once you get this and this out and you got this big, you know, you can protect them with this, at least the uh, Mer Enforcer. Um, and, you you know, you got all these powerful effects to um, save the Mer Enforcer. I'm using all the scales now because I really like it with uh, Claire Can Shaman being able to nix stuff for one or even two and still stay alive or, you know, give it a... Uh, uh, flying I'm, I'm all over the map here let me start off we've got eight lands we've got four of these four of these and then we also run this if this is out of your price range i totally understand it would be mine too if i was starting right now um i got them on the cheap years and years and years ago but you could either you there's so many zero artifacts you can go with the zero six wall and you might not really even feel it that much a lot of times i tap it for um what do you call uh improvise mana anyway so um i'm running the scale for a variety of reasons it gets this out of range of a lot of the removal in the format a nice little combat trick and um it's just as relevant these threes because there's so many artifacts in this as a zero so that's why i went down to just zero bone i'm one bone saw me with the zero casting cost so um we've got four of these four of these four of these four welding jars always causes mistakes three tormod's crypt um we've got three walkers great against blocking ninjas Great against blocking Fey with the Ornithopter. All of these are Bird of Paradise with haste effects. If you think about it, we got Lotus Petal, one Bone Saw, four Preordain. This is the big innovation made of canvas, wood, and hope. All right. MTM Tad in the house. Thank you for the hype. And uh, let me get caught up on here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the car can with scale is nice, but it's always good if you give it flying because then it, it never hurts itself. Um, and the equip too. It looks expensive for this list, but this is all about holding this till you get one of your big fatties out and they stop getting blocked by everything in the format. You drop it, it just auto equips and you go in for damage. And by that phase of the game, equipping it's usually not a big deal. So yeah, four of these, four of these, four of these, four of these, and four of these. And our sideboard, we got four of these. It's a very simplistic sideboard. Four Hydroblast, four Gut Shot, three Shamans. So that being said, we're gonna run on over. I hope to go first every time. We are set to go. We will play, and uh, maybe next week we won't be on a league. I don't know. I was planning on not doing a league this week, but then I felt like, you know what? Let's let's see how this does. I've been. We do not want to go first. We do not want to go first. No. All righty. So we don't have much fat here. We got a lot of gas, but we don't have any draw. Yeah, it's just a whole lot of nothing. We've got double tooth. We could swing for two on turn one. I don't know. Awfully draw dependent here. I think we throw this one back. We're going to mulligan this. It's kind of a good hand, kind of isn't. I guess we'll keep this one. We'll keep here. 
Uh, da, 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 da. I do want to keep that. Uh, we'll get rid of the scale. Let's <clears throat> see, so done. All right, here we go. MTM tat. All right, <laughs> that's my head screaming there. I almost forgot about it. Yo. All right. Yeah, I was last few days been playing the hell out of this, just having so much fun. And um, I I was playing last night, and I won like 15 straight, and I'm just like, I'm just going to play this damn thing. It's silly. It's crazy. Uh, we're going to do this right now. See what we get. Sure. And we'll hopefully be able to invent next turn. All right. Maybe they're on edicts, and that'll feel really good, but here we go. Fraunhofer's prism. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, that shouldn't be too big of a problem here. And the tooth will keep her from blocking, but we're not about that. This is going to be two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we've got one, two, a little stultified here. This kind of... I don't really want to play that, but I kind of need to to keep the train rolling. So we're going to roll off here. I guess we'll just equip it here. Not the not the best plan right now, but I'm... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can cast this next turn, and then we'll go crazy. Um, yeah, don't really like the thought of mono black, but we'll see. Flying frogs. What kind of format is this, right? Woo! Got to do what you can do. Two, four, six. We're one away. And let's see. If we do that, that'll be two, four, six. Yeah, we should. No, we're going to need that mana for that. Well, we'll probably draw something that costs zero, so. I'll be all right. Hey, we got a artifact. I mean, a lightning bolt of the artifact persuasion damage, colorless, I should say, coming at him. So that's good times. All right, now it's good times. So this is free. This is free. We're gonna have to pay the piper, but it's it's cool because like all this stuff, it's like well, it's not doing anything. I mean, yeah, you can block with it. I guess that's not any nothing. But and look at this. You can do this. You can pay for for stuff with this and this and then this. And uh, hey, why not this? Bonk. We'll still hit for three. How does a kite sail work if it's tapped? How's that work? That's how. Woo! I better stay up to date here. NBC. Not something I expected to see, but... I think there was a... I saw a few 5.0 lists that were just a traditional NBC builds. Pretty cool. All right. This is when you really wish you had your uh, welding jar. Doesn't work on the Bastion Inventor, but we don't really need it to. That has hexproof. Really want to give that thing flying. Of course, it can't really block right now. Well, that's a good draw. Got to pay the blue. I, I really wish that could just be used for blue, but yeah, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Da 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 da. Hiya! Yeah, she can't target it. So reminds me of Dagmatism demonstration. I often get the video frog extreme magnetic field just floating around. Oh, tell us more, MTM. Tech. That sounds awesome. This looks to be going pretty well, but you see now in like an angler or anything and you just run into that wall. That's why that kite sail is uh, so important. Now, we just kind of went with the f went with the flow on that one. I think tempo-wise it worked out. Uh, most of the time you don't want to be throwing that on a frog. In fact, that's the very first time I've ever done it. We're kind of pre-boarded here. Um, I don't really want to... A lot of formats, curfew... We, we can save our own creatures and stuff like that. That's mostly for Hexproof, obviously. Kiln Fiend style lists. Um, Clark and Shaman, I'm not too thrilled about against mono, mono Black. I might consider one in here. Although I don't want it to get marooned in my hand against a Chittering Rat, right? I mean, we've only got eight, eight outs for it to actually be cast. So, uh, yeah. I think we just go with it as, as is. I'm telling you, almost every fourth game I play somebody pretty good like a regular that i knows shouldn't make that kind of mistake will will not remember what the welding jar does it's just it, i mean it says right there but it just doesn't see that much play so and i'm really liking the uh, scale bone saw ratio i was running all four of these for that you know explosive turn but whenever that happens this was free anyway and i just think it's a better card in a lot of formats little surprises uh you know saving stuff from all kinds of things so a levitating frog. <laughs> I know that's what we should should have called it. I just call it Blue Zero. I was feeling very unoriginal here. But look, man, hey, it's another case for bald things being awesome in magic. All right. Yep, let's just go. Go second. Go second. Go second. It's like a mantra you gotta be humming at this point. 
Okay. Well, I'm not going to... We got... Boom. Oh, boy, that's... This is a this is a bad hand. There's one less inventor. I'd like it, but we're going to mulligan this. We'll keep this one. And... Uh, I think one pedal's enough. It sounds like a bad 80s show. One pedal's enough. Get some cheesy saxophone song going on. We got a duress. Oh, that's even that's even meaner to us. Oh, gonna take our seat. That's brutal. Probably the best first turn available for. Oh, okay. I thought. Yeah, they could have just pulled our land. I mean. We got we got a few outs and that, but all right. Well, we'll do this to this to this, then this. Let's just love it like against a hand destruction thing, and we're like, okay, well, have fun looking at that. Um, I really want both of these, huh? I'll say top, and uh, I'll say top. I'll just play it. Here we go. Not the best hand. It'll be blocked by everything under the sun, but I do want to get options and priority in there. All right. Well, welding jar ain't going to work there, is it? Whoop. Here we go. We'll say bottom and top. Uh, is it really going to do much for us here? We have seen edict, so I'm going to say top. He wants to use good removal on that. Even if we draw dead, we can we can hit for one. That's this is like the yin and yang symbol, right? You, even though we had kind of a clunky out of the gate start with that first game, we did win it pretty pretty fast. Um, and we can't do anything about that. All right, he's got all the removal answers right now. We've got to get that cannon fodder in the way of our uh, inventors in case it shows up. But Dex helping us here with the draws. We'll do this. I'm gonna hold that just. Hoping he throws something down that tries to make us discard something. I'm just going to try to teach him a lesson if we get to game three. Let's see what's going on with that. <laughs> Christopher Walker. <laughs> Love it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Problem now. Four mana, two cards in hand. Jeez. Once we get something, we're going to really be able to keep it alive and powered up. Dang it. Or are those double inventors in the first draw, right? So Preordain really shines here versus uh, any sort of other card, like because uh, we don't have any shuffle effects in the end. Because it was my son's suggestion. It's like, this just needs a tiny bit more draw. There's, um, oh, what is it? Thought of Discovery... Shared Discovery, I think it's called. Tap four creatures and you draw three cards. I've tried to make that work for so many years, and I regret seeing it almost every time I play it. So have fun if you want to if you want to try this list and throw that in there. I think you have some Eureka moment. Um, I find it's not that good. Thank you for that, M. Chimsky. Mr. Johnny on the spot. Well, if Gary shows up, we're not going to have very much longer to go here. Um, you know what? I'm going to crack one of these now. He's, he's got angler math pretty soon. Let's let's keep him honest. And there was an edict in there too. So I love those old artifacts. Lotus petal, Tormod script. I'd love to build this in paper, but I think Lotus petal is how much is it in paper? Does anybody know? Everybody's got the whole world at their fingertips. I think it's like thirty or forty dollars. It might be that online too. It's it's nuts. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I got just the old regulars here. I said it's so funny, like numbers keep falling, and I every time I I do the uh, what do you call it, the stream thing or the league thing, I should say. All right, so we got a big fat fatty, we got protection, and we've got a scale. Uh, that it's probably not going to be very relevant against red. It's awesome to hold back the scale. They're like galvanic blast. You're like, oh right, boink, take that. I don't know if this Merm Force is long for the world. Black has so many ways around that ability. Boy, do we want a kite sail here. Wouldn't that be sweet? Ayokura, hello team. 
We are playing Blue Zero. When the first game has eight lands in it, and it's all about crazy zero and explosive starts. And I, the courtesy of Chris at Carousel Games out of the UK for funding our little league outing experiment here. Support them if you can. All right. Well, we can't do nothing here, but we can't attack, except that we lose our protection suite if we do that. But I'm going to do it. There's so much stuff like Defile and Edicts that negate this. I want to use it when I can. Yep. So he'll do this. I'll throw the Welding Jar on it. I'll at least get rid of his Super Blocker, and he'll, have, he'll still have to deal with this. Come on, Kite Sail. All the damage he's done has been to himself. Uh, well, that's the one scenario. That's the one card I didn't want him to, to have removal-wise. We saw so much other stuff. It was just kind of a gamble there. Now we got to draw a creature and flying. So it looks like we're going to game three unless I get crazy lucky, like a thought cast into just a Bastion Inventor or something like that. That'd be pretty sweet. He's already got the uh, flashback mana for Edict, even though we, we nixed it. But And I got to... I'll ride that... Cr yeah, he hasn't... He would have played the Del... I mean, the... Um, Angler there if he had. Oh, thank, oh, man. What a kick in the crotch that is. Oh, we could have swung over and maybe for the game and uh, with the protection of Welding Jar. If I had this weird thing called Patience, but you all know me, I don't. Now we're kind of stuck in a hard place where we have to play this even though we don't have a target because I don't want to get marooned with a uh, Chittering Rats or Divest play here. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely losing this one. Get a few wins today. Hopefully do 3-2 or better. But I really just want to always remember to go second. And I and I really want one of those just puke hands where everything just comes out and it's like, it's over, baby. All right, we'll go to game three. Won't even give them the satisfaction. Just like half half step behind all that all that game just felt weird. Oh, the Clark Clan Shaman or not game's got to be going really good and then we wipe the board with everything and and kill all of his stuff i say we just try to get there instead because like i argued before i don't want to be staring at this dude with only eight outs against uh chittering rats i think our opponent even though they won i think they punted a bit there, not taking our uh, seat with the uh, divest play that would have been brutal all right let's get the good mojo going here we go. No. Oh, one, two. One, two, into that, into that, into that. I've been mulliganing every game so far. He's got to turn one divest. He can pull it. A little too slow. I hate having to mulligan so much, but we'll keep this. I think we get rid of uh, Crypty here. Yeah, this will be fun. Even if they pull our land, we can play our whole hand out. Hey! Always lead with the Welding Jar in case they've got some sort of uh, removal. All right, that's getting better by the day. Whoosh, whoosh, always with the Jar, see? what I tell you, see? Yeah. Got to turn to Inventor. Not too shabby. If we had Blue out, we could just play him right now. But, unfortunately, Improvise wants that Blue. Can't pay the extra with a Blue creature. I wish he could. I don't know why they kept those in. Obviously the Gary mechanic, but... Uh, awesome. Awesome. Oh, well, we might as well just use our mana here. I hope he's just got a handful of, of, of um, what am I trying to say? Discard. Boop, boop, boop. And maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> it's such a hollow attack. Why did he take that? <laughs> There's nothing in our hand. <laughs> I should have done it first. Hey, that's why you do it, right? Sometimes you just get lucky. 
Maybe they F6 themselves. Let's see your chittering rats now. Come on, kite sail, preordain, or thought cast. That's what we need, baby. Whoo! What about ideas and bound? Yep, I've, I've thought of that one too. That's That costs two blue, right? Hey, better lucky than good. Woo! Whoosh. Whoosh. I love stuff. Raw. Eh. Sure. You'll have to trade anyway, so let's go. Boink. Let's go, witches. Oh. Called you bluff, eh? Yeah, two blues. Awfully steep. Awfully steep. Now, unfortunately, our Bastion Inventor is not an artifact. It's an artificer, whatever the hell that is. But given the uh, state of the play, I think I'm just going to smash here. Especially with that draw. Let's make sure our man is right first. Get this out. These won't attack, so we might as well tap with them, right? Do this, and uh, I don't know. Do we hold this guy back? I guess we do. This doesn't even require tapping, too. It's it's a really sneaky card. Um, one improvise. I thought I did that. Oh, yeah. Can't use it. All right. We'll kill one. Get the other. Attack. Raw. I hope he has chittering rats and divest all over the place. Let's go. All right. Take six. Crunch. And we're the monarch. Of course, now we can be discarded, but... Oh, man, it'd be so cool if I just draw, like, a scale or a tooth here. Click slowly and carry a large stick. That's a really good draw. Smashing time, smashing time. Blue zero. Whoa, that sucks. I hate that they still pulled that off. I wish that could have been a tooth, but... It's so the Clark Kane Shaman plan. That's even a thing. So we can't keep that alive. Black's like the worst case scenario for Welding Jar. It just gets us in a lot of these scenarios. So we're kind of stuck there. Good news is that Bastion Inventor can't really be chump blocked because you can't target it. That's good times. It's a double Welding Jar. Lehman One Russ. Hey, thank you for the sub, my friend. Wow, nine months. Thank you very much. I'm uh, wondering where our teeth are hiding. Wham! Double welding jar! Woo! And we win. We're undefeated with Blue Zero. Those just joining us. We're um, playing this creation of mine I've been working on for months. About, I think we played it like two months ago with quite a different variation here. But the big idea here is uh, this kite sail looks very janky in this it just if you follow me on uh youtube's uh, community tab i share a lot of my scribbly scratch notes um and you'll notice about oh five weeks back i wrote this name down and i had it circled in it with mvp next to it and you know uh, for every time i crash and burn with an idea there's little moments like this where i'm like you, you know like when you open a pack of magic cards in, in a draft and you're like ah uh, yeah, I get one card short. I'll try this. And then you, we've all had that happen where that card just is like, wow, this is so much better than I thought it was. Like kind of like a jewel thief or whatever in the newest set. Like when you play it, you're like, whoa, that's a lot of card, you know. And you know it was good, but not that good. In this deck, I wouldn't recommend this in any other deck. But in this deck, that auto equip and making all of your big fatties fly over for that last bit of damage with all the protection suites behind it is nuts. Anyway, uh, more on that later. We will play the match and hope these winning ways continue. What's the Achilles heel? Well, you saw it, the opening hand. Um, yeah, I would say mono black's pretty hard for it to beat. Um, and honestly, this is just one of those, my my good night decks in the in the evening. Like I just get a beer, one of my gin and tonics or something, say, no, you always want to go second and uh, sit back and just chill and, and play till I'm sleepy and then I go to bed. And this is just my little, it's like a warm blanket. I just love this deck so much. It's like, I should have called it Vegas or something. Because it's just like when you hear the slot machines go off and you're just like, oh, wow, what's all the excitement about? <laughs> and you're like, this kind of hand, this is ridiculous. 
if this was a seat, we could I, we might even be able to power out the Bastion Inventor on this turn. We'll keep. A lot of times, people uh, when you win the dice roll, they they just assume it's your turn, and so if you if you're quick on the uh, auto yields here, sometimes you can steal a turn in a tournament. Well, I'm definitely up for names. I just it's very accurate to call it blue zero. It's blue, and there's a ton of cards that cost zero. But yeah, the biggest the biggest thorn in the side to answer your question there, uh, Pedro Struck, is um, blockability, and that's why those kite sails are so good. It's just you know, for every game a, you might have an ornithopter win or whatnot, you, there's so many other games where it's just like, oops, you know, you're just running into little one ones and getting eaten alive by skyfishers and such, and just being able to give them. You know, I've messed around with. Uh, I think about a year back, I had a build that ran. Um, I'll keep that for a little uh, sneaky move. About a year back, I had what's the oh gosh, what was it called? Aquaform something, um, something Aquaform, and it gave something like uh, unblockability, and then you scry and nice idea. Cost one blue, but in the end, I was just just wasn't feeling it. Scale is going to be very important against Boros. Let's see, we got. Uh, I mean, we've got the we've got the man out here, so we'll play the one here. It's nothing really to attack for here, so um, we'll just we'll play the inventor here. Keep this as surprise value. Had I could I have attacked there? Yeah, uh, for zero. If if I had a tooth out, I would have uh, done that differently. But got a nice four four body. It's it's pretty hard to get around that. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't an aqueous form. That's what I'm talking about. My bad. That's the one. Yeah, I tried that about a year ago. Hmm. Honestly, this thing comes comes out so fast sometimes that it's it's just too fast. It's just there's just too much ammo. The format's a wee bit too slow, etc. Uh, we don't really need mana here, so I am going to crack this right now for the uh, preordain. Maybe it's worth it. Hmm. I'd like to see two cards. Doctor's not needed. Bottom. I'm going to throw caution in the wind here. All right, and attack. And we can even stay alive against that glint hawk if you look closely with the scale. Problem is, you know, they, they start chump blocking, and that's why I want to keep that other scale back, because we can target our hexproof dude, as per the mechanic suggests. Our opponent cannot. So now we're looking for a cool double block, and, you know, majority of the time you do a trick like that, and then they, they galvanic blast, but they can't. Of course, they can see that we've already got the uh, the issues here, but we'll just block here. Scale it up. Do I want to use good removal on it? We've got double welding jar. You're looking at kind of the the wooden wall of of, of um, popper right now, like the the walkers for the ground, the ornithopter for the sky, and when you've got the uh, scale in there, it's it's somewhat formidable. Say you want to, Hey mate, how are you? I am right for constructed popper. Greetings from Germany. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Savano Savanova. Very cool name. All right. Well, we've got a little surprise if we can get double tooth going, shouldn't we? All right, let's attack. For five. Boop, boop. Playing rogue as always. They ever come up with something where you can like become a magic card or something that, that was that would definitely be something I would be pulling for. Creature type rogue for many reasons. Yeah, that's a good pull. At least they can start racing damage here. Isn't that funny? See, they respected Ornithopter enough in this game scenario where they had to journey it. I think that's pretty funny. Woohoo! Thank you for the welcome there, Shiraz. Okay. 
It's thrashing time in the city. That's not even a song. I'm just trying to sing poorly. Sure, we don't need these. We'll keep this a surprise. Good luck killing this. Especially if we get our kite sail online, it's going to be a big problem. That, that hidden scale might might be, uh, you might be able to, because it can already do the math with five. All right. Make sure where that's pointed. It could just burn us out here. We're not out of the woods yet. Does nothing. Interesting metagame call game one. I kind of respect that. To sideboard in. Hmm. Still coming at us. It looks like they've got the burn to do it. Oh, they got double double galvanic blast here. That's or just a lot of blockers coming to join the party. This is when you really want kite sail or thought cast in the kite sail. Just shut the door. All right. Thought cast. Show me kite sail. Show me kite sail. Kite sail. Kite sail. All right. Well, not the greatest draw. That gets a wee bit redundant, doesn't it? Alrighty. Even a tooth there would have kind of won. Um, yeah, we'll come in with this. Yeah, we can do five. Can't do much else, though. And I know a lot of you are going to, in the chat later on in YouTube and stuff, you're going to see a, a scenario like this. You'll be like, why don't you play Galvanic Blast? And it's like, just play it and see. 90% of the time, you're looking at when it would be the optimal card to draw right now. I mean, even a Lava Dart would do it. Um, all right, maybe they don't have it. They have to have it. And similar to Brute Squad, it comes out so wide with the tooth option and the... Uh, what do you call the bone saw that you're able to uh, sneak it in those last bits of damage? I double checked all the audio. Shouldn't be. Here. That's a good test. This is a good sign. Maybe he needs blockers. Yeah, all of our problems went away when I switched to OBS and got rid of Streamlabs. If you're streaming out there and having issues, I highly recommend the Switch. I just assumed they were kind of the same program, and I'm sure they have a lot of the same innards, but... Man, just night and day. There's so many little bells and whistles to the uh, Streamlabs that I didn't like. That I'm like, I don't need that fluff, and then that... This is just like some streamlined version of it. Ooh. All right, well, here we go. Double welding jar. This feels pretty good. Yes. Where were you last game? Damn it. Let's throw the kite sail. I'll throw it on an inventor. Would have been nice last turn. Yeah, jerk. We'll attack with, I guess, everything. I mean, this is just the game right here. Oh, for another one of those, huh? Crunch. Best to keep that back, I guess. Yeah, I had one more mana. We could have um, re-equipped that kite sail onto a walker and had a block, but... Two, this is not a, you got to stop thinking of, um, and when you see things like this, it, we never pay for this. It's all about the affinity for artifacts. Two is so expensive in, the, in a style like this. Um, you just, ideally, you just want to be able to 
you know, puke out your whole hand. Just bleh, just everything hits. Come on, baby. No burn, no burn. I mean, no galvanic. No galvanic. Come on, no galvanic. Well, at least it's an original way to kill us. Splat. That was razor close. One turn sooner with that kite sail. Maybe that preordain on the top was, was a problem. I'm not quite sure. Um, we don't need too much here. I would like to have access to a few Hydro Blasts. I think I'll bring in like three, and we'll get rid of the Crypt. Just no graveyard game here. Walding Jar is going to be very good here. So, like, to answer your question there, um, um, thank you for that, Ayakura. Yeah, don't let it. Don't. I'll be the first who been winning, but... Um, it, Maybe it has. Maybe I've turned the corner with the with the kite sail tech. I'm not sure, but when you look at the uh, the curve on this thing, it should look more like like this is here, this is here, this is free, and so all you have left these are these are all one drops. So it stops at one. Um, we've only got eight lands, and then the four petals. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of games I I win with no mana. I mean, no uh, true like lands. That's what I meant to say. Nope, you always want to go second. It's clunky, but I'm going to keep it. I don't really have that explosive of a start. I might pay for this, but we'll see. I see an inventor kite sail hand. I get a little, I overrated a little bit probably, to be, to be fair. We'll play this out. At least we'll have a blocker. Yeah, what are they? Did anybody answer that? I'm sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't looking at the chat. This is like the. That's like such an unexplosive term for this list. Usually, we're down to one card or none here. But uh, we're trying to play a thing called. Uh, yeah, we got to really watch out for uh, dust to dust too. Uh, sit and duck for that. So because of that, we'll preordain and hopefully we can get some more thrashers. We like this. It's one, two, three, four, five. Will get me there. Don't have that yet. Did I say bottom bottom on this? I think I do. Yeah, I need a. Uh, I need some zeros here. I hate getting rid of that, but this is not boating well for us, guys. I'm not gonna lie, that, that was a atrocious uh, sequence there. At least we have a blocker, but depending on how much burn they have, they might uh, not figure that worthy of that being how close the last game was. Oh, you can get, I'm telling you, 99% of this list doesn't rely on the pedal for that. It, it relies on it for zero. Um, and so we're, um, you can, you know, you can use a zero six wall. You can, uh, there's so many zero things out there you mess around with. You can go up to all four, uh, oh, what do you call, uh, the, the, uh, the bone saw thing. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's get a trickery here. All right. It's kind of a good play at this stage, knowing that he's kind of on to what our game does here. God, that was such a close first game. I really don't want to get too owed here because you saw that last game and how close it was. This, and on paper, it's going to be like, oh, man, I got too owed, but I need work on that. And it's like, oh, we just drew really bad, and we had a super close game. That's that's pretty frustrating. All right, let's get rid of the hate. I'm probably going to walk right into you-know-what after this, but... This is exactly why you don't want a bunch of, you know, prisms or, you know, uh, wedding invitations or things. It is, this can get clogged fast. I kept because of the hydro blast and the, uh, you know, majority of our deck costs zero, so we should be able to get there. But uh, yeah, shield sphere I've I've run a lot of in the past. It's a really good option. No glint hawk. Damn it. I've got builds of this that are focused on red, focused on black. But the uh, inventor is just so, so, so key. All right. I'll play this out. I think we preordain here. Ugh. My goodness. Two, three, four. If I'm going to get out of this, it's bottom. i got to say bottom on this. Well, at least we've got an artifact next turn. Dang it. This is rough. I'd rather just have the defense here for a blast effect or something. Um, 
God, if he, I think if he drops the dust to dust right now, normally I've got so much stuff out and, and mentors going and I don't really care about dust to dust, but you know, every, every card has its uh, option here. No reason for me to play fast and stare at the board here for a minute. It's unlikely that they're just going to bolt us to the face. So I'm just going to play this for the uh, artifact value here. Get something out. Um, that looks so janky. Just drop a kite sail pass. Nixie Uchida. All right. It's 9 a.m. in Spokane. Nice. Yep. I got 9. 9 is here, too. And it feels like your weather down here. It's been a... We've had the marina layer show up big time. And then straight up, like... Like real clouds and fog. It's not It's not just like a you know fog bank coming in. It's like big puffy dark clouds, but they're not producing anything. Frustrating. I don't think we're going to get out of this one, guys. There's too many flyers. We need to drop that bastard inventor and hide behind him, and uh, then we'll probably get picked apart by burn. That's my prediction. Propaganda is filmed in California. <laughs> but I am from Europe, just like Charles Bond. All right. I need all the help I can get, so I'm going to drop this now. I'll play this. Nope. How much is this going to run me? Two? Hmm. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five. I really hate to do this. I mean, I could just throw that on there, but then uh, we, we it probably just gets bolted to death, right? You're following my line of thinking. I kind of want to throw that um, kite sail on there. but It's probably just going to get in shot, but I'm going to go for it. I mean, we've got the scale to protect it from um, <coughs> galvanic blast. The problem is after it takes two, it might be a different song we're singing there. Uh, next turn, we'll have uh, eight power in the air. It's a uh, hydroblast backup, but without gaining life, um, feeling pretty fragile at the moment. Yeah, that's a bad sign. Oh, nice. Congrats, Uchida. You can find old barns where three quarters of the house isn't there out here for about two million. <laughs> so depressing. It's like, go in debt for your whole life and buy this scab of rock. <laughs> yep. We're one and one, guys. No, nope, unless he keeps making moves like that. Could have just hit us in the face and attacked for the win there. I don't know what they were. Uh, might still do it. Yeah, we're still going to take five. Well, let's get rid of one of the problems. Crunch. Wish I had my welding jar out. Damn it. Dead no matter what. Dude, Emmett, nice. Hey, check this out. Problem is, we're going to have to tap the damn thing to pay for it. One, two. Uh, 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 uh. What am I doing? I can't really even keep that alive, right? Yeah, I can't even keep that alive. Um, and I can't really block it here. Let me just look at this real quick. I don't think there's a way out of this. We block, keep it alive, still take three. Well, this could happen, right? But to do that, we've got to we've got to pay just a crazy amount. Uh, if we don't do that, I go in all four on that. I guess we just have to hope that they just don't. There's there's a small scenario here where we just block, block, take two, and I can somehow get away with this. It's so unlikely. Yeah, we're just dead here. Okay, guys, we're one one. It's all right. Even though it was an LL, you saw that first game, it was awfully close. Uh, I think I might have overboarded there. Felt, felt like um, holding on to that Hydroblast a little too long there. Um, whoop. But yeah, not much I would do different other than probably not keep that second hand, but it'd be nice if we can keep one of our hands. But we've beaten Mono Black, we've lost to Boros. So, courtesy of Chris at Carousel Games, we're playing. My little baby here. I just love this deck. I think it's so close to being like awesome. It's like one card away from just just crushing. Is it the kite sail? Feels feels like this is really helping out. 
It looks like I said, janky in any other build, and this one it's it's nuts. You almost never pay this two. You just drop it and go. We you want it in multiples in case you just have kind of a dead draw, nothing to do play. That way you're able to power up all this other good stuff. So, all right, let's go. Whoop, join that. Here we go. Onwards and upwards. And there's a hand. Woo! Yeah, I want to keep this. Call this Optimus Prime. Super pooper in the house. Good times. Ponder. So when you do have, like, uh, when that salamander used to be around, I would have these four fours, and I'd go up against blue, and I'm like, I got him, I got him, and then boing, everything would bounce back, and, you know, you get tempoed out, and we've all been there. But with this hexproof dude, it's pretty awesome. Cue the puke music. Oh, preordain, you had to go and ruin the party, didn't you? Boop, 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 boop. Now, isn't this fun? Now... I believe one, two, three, four, five. Yep, I can do it. So we'll do this. We'll tap this for blue. We'll tap this, 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 and we'll use the uh, this guy twice. Yuck, yuck. Should be a riddle, right? How can you use a lotus petal twice without it leaving the battlefield? Ah, it's got to be an elegant, more elegant way to say that. But I haven't played in a long time. Nichols is back. Feel the itch. I stopped by to say hello and watch Deluxe Slay. All right. Yeah, we're playing leagues thanks to uh, Chris over at Carousel Games. Gave us about enough for 10 leagues. Just said, go have some fun. Miss you playing leagues. So I was like, wow, that was sweet. So the least we can do is showcase some rogue and try to slay. Thank you for that, M. Chimsky. If you can support Carousel Games there, they reached out to us. The least we can do is give on back. All right. Well, uh, do we trip the pedal? I think we do. Let's see what we get. Uh, this is scales are bad against blue. This might be blue red. Um, I'm gonna say bottom bottom. Cool. Cool. We got a welding jar back up. See all the lands we're playing with. Yeah, and we've had one or two shows where people have uh, just reached out and want us to play their build. Varying levels of success. I'm glad it's red because we had the welding jar out. So now, if you're fairies right here, even if you somehow manage to get by the ornithopter or you have to use good burn on it, those walkers are just demanding, like, it's like, what? Oh, this is a whole different scenario. But we've got so many blockers here that only Apostle's Blessing is really going to Help them get completely through. Of course, one little trip up and, uh, oh boy. Now I really wish I didn't have that, right? He doesn't know what we're on, though. So let's attack. Haven't shown him any of our um, just Gora attacks, so. Yeah, a bit of a misplay there on my part, maybe. I'll regenerate it. Two, four, five. Gotta be careful. Don't want to lose too many artifacts here. A handful of cards, though. Let's have seat. And then maybe like a pedal. Uh, what do you call a kite sail? That'd be a really good draw. And we could just race in the air. I wish I had a, a tooth to make him pay for that, but I forgot we haven't really earned the respect yet, so shouldn't have attacked there. I know it's only may but that sure makes me miss halloween crasher we will demand payment tribute love a dart such a good card nice to see it start getting played again 
Oh, so you got the um, battle rage here. Nice. Flashback the dart. I'm going to be in trouble. It's good we got such a big backside. We're able to absorb a lot of that, but not enough. Zap. I want to flash the dart back there. <laughs> there you go. Oh, almost there. All right. Well, come over for half his life. Come on. Seat. Okay. Seat or pedal. I've already seen two pedals. Uh, probability wise. But it is fun if, when you pull off game wins with no lands. It's like, you don't need lands to play in Popper. They're overrated. We've got blockers for days. Blockers for days. I've seen lists that run. Almost all of those. Should I double block here? I don't think so. Hmm. Does he have it again? Nart. That's scary. That's from the hand. If he's got another uh, Tamir Battle Rage here, this is probably over. Is it a battle rage? Again, though, if we lose this one, look how close we are to a uh, victory. Oh, it is. And with the double darts in the yard, he's got us here. Damn. We absorbed three, but it ain't going to be enough. Maths. Dang it. All right, you are fiend. Boop. Had we double blocked there? Let's see. Six would be absorbed. And uh, yeah, we would still die. So we would have had to triple block. So it doesn't feel like that big of a misplay. Our opponent just had it. So good for them. Halloween wins. At least that game. So here's a list where we're really going to want these. Now, curfew is awfully good here, too. You might even say better. <laughs> Crips go out. Obviously, the Hydroblasts all go in this time. I love these blockers. I'm going to get rid of a saw, get rid of a tooth, maybe rid of a scale, and I think we're going to run two of these curfews. Really nasty surprise when they have like a 1919 blah blah blah. Boing! That should be enough heat. Might be too much. Maybe I go something like this. Uh, I think I'm going to favor the scale in this matchup. We'll do a superstitious shuffle because we've been getting real bad luck on some of this stuff. Just barely losing games. That's frustrating, right? Every time you put a thought cast between two Mer Enforcers, you go undefeated. At least that's what the uh, writing on that rock out in that ancient castle said. All right. Nope. Cha ching eh, We got some blockers. We don't have much else going on, but we've got a nice surprise card here. And I'm here to entertain you all, so we're going to keep it. Yeah, I didn't watch any streaming. My mom got me this book called uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land, and I've been really enjoying reading it. I'm almost done with it, but it's been, you know, a continuation of another slow week at work. And I was in office this week, so I was just reading in my downtime, so I didn't look and see anybody's goodness out there. It's been in a tunnel vision. It's a pretty thick book, so almost done with it. Me too, my friends. Me too. Oops, I should always cast this first. And by always, that's exactly what I mean. Always. I guess we could say that for surprise value. Although next turn we're gonna just gonna power out our inventor. We've got the kite sail play. I swear, curfew almost feels better than hydroblast in this matchup. We'll see how it goes. There's the beast we don't want to see. I just really want a seat here. All right. Well, we're going to slow our roll here and just kill that. No sense in 
hanging out. I'm new. Oh, I'm new to propaganda. Oh, Pedro Struck. I'm curious about what you work with, if that's not too personal. Oh, I cut uh, movie trailers, commercials, and things like that. Probably shouldn't be that big of a uh, surprise given our uh, fake MTG commercials I always roll to, right? Yeah, I'm an editor by trade. I like it too much. I should have been directing stuff and doing all these other big time things by now, but I just I like pushing the buttons and putting the puzzle together. Always have, hopefully always will. Well, we've got a whole lot of blockers. I do want to exhibit some sort of... Uh, what do we do here? They could just have a uh, uh, blast, you know, of themselves there. So, I mean, I'd be running those because you can just target anything with them. And we've got blockers. I could power out the inventor right now, but then I have to block with him. Got four cards. I think I'm going to pass here, guys. Yeah, let's just pass. Dang it. Yeah, Kerfee's got baldness too. You're right. <laughs> Every good card is bald. Check it out. Bold. I don't know about this one. Ah, yeah. I think, you know, a kiln fiend couldn't really have hair given its uh, temperature, right? Bold for the win. What I do in real life, I just shine my head up and blind my opponent. Yeah. Well, now this really sucks. So now we'll curfew and not get anything out of it other than a turn. But I live in fear of the curfew coming back. Boop. At least we don't get the double smash kazow. I saw this in the standings the other day, and I'm like, good. Good sign of a metagame when that when that comes back around, right? All right. I'm going to get our dudes out here. I'm just going to go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, should I? Should I? Should I? You know he's got to want to play that. What say you all? How am I going to go for it? Boom, 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 boom. I feel so naked. Maybe they think that that welding jar can target the Bastion Inventor and they won't attack. I hope. <laughs> this would be such a better list if Bastion Inventor was an artifact. Please be the... Yes, cool. He's building up for the dynamo turn. Which really sucks for us. I will block heavily. All right. Finally, this works. Let's go. One mana to give something a big old flying butt. Woo! I don't think we're getting out of this one, guys. I think we're going to one two land at the half. But I'm having a good time. Really think we should have won that first game against Boros. We beat Mono Black. Got to represent we've got another curfew. Oh, God. I was like, this is, this is riding on the wall time here, guys. This is scary. I don't respect that play. They just have a bunch of fluff. At least we've got a little bit of damage there. I wish there was a tooth out. Oh, well. And the kite sail, all it does is grant flying. But it auto-equips, so that's why I'm running it. You know, you could run like the, uh, what's that blue? You trip it, draw a car, you give a creature flying for a turn. It's like, ah, this does it the whole game. And if we are up against a flying mechanic, we could, you know, relocate it right now with extra mana to the uh, walker and such, but... I just think it's a bad play at this point. Oh boy. Here comes the parade. Yeah, I don't think we're going to live through this turn if their hand has any value here. They got to be on pins and needles, though. It's like, what card are we holding? And it's like, Lotus Battle. <laughs> Remember how expensive it is? And look at what good it's doing us here, right? Watching this deck plays out makes me curious about building a banishing neck. Uh, hex yeah. Those were a thing back in like 08, 09. I remember there were some pretty pretty decent builds of those running around. But 
All righty. Uh, hmm. This is a race. I guess I just block, 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 block. Do I just go ape with blocks here? Trip the jar here and try to keep one of our one of our dudes alive. I prefer that because it's just harder to kill. We lose all kinds of dudes. Lava darts in the yard. Got him on a three-turn clock. Play this out. Man, if that was a tooth, we'd have a whole different dance going on here. I kind of let one through this time. Got to get him on a two-turn clock here, or he's not going to respect anything we do. Maybe they're just on lands? I don't know. Hey, Captain Vlad Tepes. Sorry, I'm all reading in backwards, reverse, whatever. So good to see Nichols again. I like when people come back from back from the dead. He's been unearthed. Oh, boy. That's a problem. Yikes. Are we going to live this turn is the question. There's already a lava dart in the yard. Man, I wish I had curfew right now. Bounce the one that's targeted. Of course, that wouldn't really do anything. The board would still be his for the taking. Darn it. Got a place I can share a deck list for both advice and potential, says Mixi Cheetah, if you're liking it enough to showcase it. Oh, yeah. And if you will showcase it no matter what, if you pay for the uh, league outing, uh, we could play it in casual too. Got all kinds of options. But as always, just propaganda at gmail.com. And uh, if you can, please just send the, a text file or like, you know, from MTG Goldfish, you can just uh, upload it there. And that way I can just download it. Sometimes, I'll be honest, some lists come in so like, like chicken scratch written. I'm like, I'm not going to spend 45 minutes of my time going through this. Yeah, we're going to lose here. Um, mix and matching everything as opposed to just right click load because, you know, I have every single card. So it's so much easier that way. So, yeah, word of the wise, if you want to send something in, the best way is just MTG Goldfish. You just create a deck and then you just send me the link and I hit download and boop. We're good to go. Well, it's been fun, but we're dead. Protection from artifacts already. Well, we'll try to keep this dude going. There's a dart. There's 17, 18. Does he have another instant? Any instant will do. Brainstorm for the win. 25 ticks. Woo-wee. Damn. Yep. All righty. Well, now we got to win out. So now we're 1-2. Dang it. This was a loss. That that last game one of the Boros matchup, that was so razor. I just, my opponent, kudos to them. That was a nice sequencing there. All right. Well, let's give you a fast one today because my bladder's fine. I don't really feel like coffee. I've got a whole bunch of stuff I can roll to, but... You hardcore regulars have all seen it, so I'm just going to try to keep this a pure round here. Maybe I do need a break. Yeah, let me go get some coffee. I'll be right back. Enjoy. Uh, what do I got here? Oh, yeah. Sideboards Explored. We've got um, broke this series up into like four or five videos. We really get a lot of compliments on it for those of you that haven't seen it. I'll be back in just a minute. Welcome to Sideboards Explored. Disruption and Prevention. Duress goes a long ways towards ruining your opponent's game plans on the very first turn. At worst, you get free intel on your opponent's hand strength. Okiba Gang Shinobi. This is the card your opponent never wants to see. If left unanswered, it can turn the tide of battle if not dealt with immediately. Flaring Pain is the only answer outside of a counterspell for some of the most powerful fog effects Popper has in its arsenal. Dispel is an all-star in a format where almost every deck has instant tricks that you'll be happy you can stop with this gem. Hydroblast and Pyroblast are fantastic catch-all options when facing off against enemy colors. You have access to eight of these in the form of Blue Elemental and Red Elemental Blasts, but be careful as the Elemental Blasts are not as flexible as Hydroblast and Pyroblast are. 
Moments Peace often feels like multiple time walk effects on the battlefield. Do not underestimate the power of fog. Curfew punishes players for going all in on a creature, especially good versus heroic decks and hexproof. Prismatic Strands often acts as a one-sided Wrath of God, but a more common use is simply to prevent damage. Obviously good versus big red spells like Rolling Thunder or Fling, its ability to flash back makes the power of this card border on being absurd. Cleansing Wildfire is a flexible answer to Tron and Karoo lands, simultaneously providing card advantage and ramp when targeting your own indestructible lands. Relic of Progenitus is a necessary evil in many sideboards and metagames. Remember, you can trip this while your own graveyard recursion spells are on the stack. For example, a Raven's Cry, buying you a card and saving your own graveyard synergy. Stormbound Geist is a superb option for blue mages in both Mirror as well as when facing off against heavy removal style decks. Luma Thread Field is nasty tech for decks that aim to go wide by playing a lot of little creatures. The majority of mass removal comes in black and red, and aside from early discard, once this sticks, it's almost impossible for black or red mages to remove it. Also in this vein are Spider Silk Armor and Goblin Caves. Standard Bearer can be gruesome versus decks like Stompy, Elves, Hexproof, etc. The play mistakes and game tempo this card causes are legendary. And we're back. Let's see how we do in this round. Very good hand. One of the best. It's about time. And we're naturally going second. We will keep. Maybe I did need some coffee. <laughs> oh, back at you. I um, you a cheetah. I apologize. No, no, no. It was uh, the one above that. Uh, my process. Usually, to be honest, I'll see a card or two and, and build around it. But yeah, and 90% of the time, I'll copy paste a list that has those colors or whatever so i don't have to go searching for stuff and uh i go from there um hope that answers your question 20 for lotus petal and paper okay all right hmm elves very bad matchup we don't really have outside of gut shot ways of uh, getting rid of stuff we've got big fatties but we really need our flyers to show up here so uh Looks like we're going to be going to loser town. <laughs> All right. Let's rock. Let's roll. Let's see if we can't get this to go. One, two, three, four, five. Still not there. So close. Maybe we'll get there here. All right. Well, we get a uh, creature out of the deal. Let's say bottom on that. Let's say top on this. Get a critter out of it. Go like this. Three. What's this running now? One. Dang it. I just got to double check. All right, well, we've got an interesting game, or turn next turn, right? I like the sound of that list there, Uchida. Yeah, send it, propaganda, gmail.com. A lot of value these days, and that's why we're not going to win game one. We don't really have an answer for that. So uh, I'm really surprised we... Uh, we won a game because mono blacks usually kind of the, the and elves are the two like oh crap you know you don't want to you don't want to see them mostly for the you know the life gain there so uh be a fast show today but again thanks to chris carousel games for at least uh you know putting the question out there we started strong but, uh, there's nothing like the trial by fire to really hone you know your decisions and your, and your list. And honestly, there's, I don't really want to change anything. So I'm not learning much, I guess would be the point there, but all right, well, let's power up both of these guys and see if we can't just get going, going crazy here. If we had one more blue, we could go. I did run basic islands for a while. It might even be correct. If uh, the lands get picked on, you want one option out there. But for right now, we'll just attack for one. Try to keep them honest with the uh, tooth here. Boop. Oh, he's got reach anyway. Duh. Well, maybe they won't see it. Maybe they're afraid of another tooth. That'd be awesome, right? I've got another tooth. Watch out. Why would I have paid for my enforcer? Yeah, all right. They see it. Darn it. <laughs> but thanks to Chris at Car uh, Carousel Games, this is... Um, 
something I've been wanting to do. Like, I don't know if I would I would uh, brave my own points or tickets on a, an outing like this. Just kind of I get really close some days and then just don't have the fervor I used to, to enter a lot of leagues and grind away. Yeah, see, now that Jesper Sentinel, Sentinel is just it's just the natural answer for even if we do get our flying game online here. So this is when you want true evasion and something like uh, aqueous form. But again, I've tried it. Very underwhelmed. Didn't like it much. I'm going to save that for next turn, and I'm just going to do this now. We'll tap these up and go like this. And since we've got... Um, we do have eight damage. I mean, there's no big fatties out yet. Welding jar looks so unassuming. Love it. You can crack it when it's on its side. You can't do that with Jormod script. I wish there was an old drawing version of welding jar. I just adore this old brown artifact look. I think it'd be cool to just make a magic mat that was just this. Like, all brown with the black border. Like, old leather or something like that. These mats already have the shape of a magic card. And just leave it to the imagination. Oh, I'm sorry. I had I scrolled up, and then it didn't keep scrolling with me. So I'm uh, mixing a... Uh, all right, Nichols says, the only way to see if your brew works or belongs in the trash. <laughs> I tried coming back with Orzal Reanimate Brew, but got run over by fams and goblins when I tried, says Nichols. That's a bad matchup, too. It's kind of what we've been running into today, right? Where you just kind of roll the dice, and you're like, if I don't face this, this, and this, same list can go 5-0. Face those, you're like 1-4 land, you know? All right, well, this feels good, except that he's got blockers. Uh, we'll probably fall into some sort of mana source here, so I'm going to... I'll do this first. Well, if his fatties don't show up soon, we might be able to straight up race here. Um, I'm going to go for it. Okay, that's frustrating. Still doing a little bit of damage. Not much. They're hellbent though, so there's a little bit of hope. Crunch. All right. Lotus Petal, another seat, something. Uh, I guess that kite sail can kind of wait. I mean, he's got he's got blocking options, so. Exactly, Captain Vlad Tepes, and that's one of the other reasons I brought this out. I'm like, hmm, not many people are playing mono black or elves anymore. Might have a little window here where I can show this off. What do we face? Mono black and elves. Of course, we beat one of them. Might beat this one. Not these elves keep pouring out. Come on, draw some lands for both of us. Well, that helps. Not too much, but whatever. Again, I don't think the uh, flying mechanic is going to help us more than more cards are, so I'm just going to draw some cards here. There we go. Next turn, we'll have some flying shenanigans in tow, and we'll go from there. Bonk, 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 bonk. This is getting heavy. Yeah, we got the shaman, that's for sure. It's just do we do we hit our uh, eight outs, right? All righty, let's do a tooth on an unassuming character. Always do the tooth on something that I, my least valuable target. I would really consider uh, quad blocking that uh, Bastion Inventor. Actually, Cinco block. Never mind. He has to lose f like five creatures. Just to say what's behind us. All right. Are we going to beat elves game one? This usually doesn't happen. I'm glad I didn't scoop. I almost did. Lesson to you kids out there. All right. More stuff that doesn't matter. It's a similar parallel. You know, you get in that stage with elves where you have to play enough elves to make elves relevant, but then when you top deck Elvish Mystic or something, it feels very underwhelming. This deck plays very similarly where, wham, you've got this amazing hand that everybody's jealous of, some game ones, and then, you know, you end up top decking something like a Ornithopter late game. Well, or you can always block with an Ornithopter, but uh, I don't know, a scale with no creatures or something like that. All right, that's pretty sure what we're going to do here. We're bringing in all of our red... We don't need these. Got to be real careful not to lose too much here. And I think we're going to lose the scales. Of course, that'll keep our dude alive. So I'm going to lose uh, a few teeth of Frogmite. Holding Jar is not going to be very relevant, but more relevant than Bonesaw will be. 
So I'm going to do that. Kite sail. You know what? Let's um, they can lose one. They they have they have their flyers. So I'm actually going to cut down on one of those. Popper tomb. All right. Let's see what we can do. Their superstitious shuffle sure didn't work the last game, did it? Red source must focus. We're on the draw naturally, so that's good times. I'm surprised I slept last night. Trader Joe's out here in the West has these espresso chocolate um, beans, and oh, I wolf those down like like candy. One, two, three, four, five. We've almost got a natural dude, but we've got no sources here, so we've got to scoop this. Sucks because we we're looking at the answer, but we do have the form here. A little heavy here, but we can, we have to put one back anyway, so we'll do that. Not in love with this hand, but we've got a, a three damage on turn two, which isn't too bad. Love the beans. <laughs> Land party fuel. You're right, MDM Tat. Yeah, that stuff. I get when I I think I've told this story maybe just once, and it was like five years ago on the stream. But when I used to play for Anti and for Rent, um, right around the time uh, I think it was uh, Ice Age just came out. Um, I would, uh, as an intimidation factor, I had espresso beans as life counters and I would just eat my opponent's life. Cause that was back before like 20 sided dice were a thing, but there, they weren't in vast supply like they are now. And so people just had pennies and they, they just did all kinds of crazy stuff in the old days. And so I used to like, I, it was just such a psychological cool thing. Like, you know, I'll hit you for five and just, just <laughs> eat five of beans and then just get more, you know, jittery and. Uh, all right, we were going to keep this. What am I doing? I'm trying to play magic. All right, we're going to put this one on top. Bye-bye, bald card. Hey, look, another another bald card. It's a bit of a stretch, but... Yeah, espresso beans. A top coffee, and uh, yeah. All righty. Come on, Shaman, just show up, would ya? We'll put one back. Boy, that card really likes us today, doesn't it? Oh, wait, can't do that yet. <laughs> Remember the order, you fool. Click out of order, and all of a sudden, this looks like a bad hand. But it's a good hand. I think we're fine, depending on what we draw. We might be able to get an adventure out. Even in this matchup, Welding Jar just makes blocking kind of a bad idea. It's like, okay, I'm going to get two or three of your guys for one Welding Jar. Sentinel might have something to say about that. I'm not too sure I want to push through that kind of damage at this stage of the game though. I'm more about this inventor. I'm into this inventor now. Now again, look at this. It's a typo. Come on, kite sail. Oh yeah, MTM tat. Yeah, yeah, goldfish would be good, although I don't know if I know some of the new science on uh carb loading and all that stuff just causes so much inflammation and not that I think kids have to go keto or whatever, but I don't know, maybe make it a uh, sugar snap peas or something somewhat nutritious or I don't know. seems the, the more you dig on anything, you can find out that water is bad for you, right? Every, every few years, there's those college kids that fall victim to that game where if you take too much water in, you can actually die. It's like a good lesson to learn. Everything is a chemical. This can kill you, if even if it seems good. Too much of anything. Speaking of too much, got too many elves across from us. Oh boy, that's going to put up a fight. Balding jar. I like it. How would that work? When it breaks, everyone around it or that hears it goes bald? That sounds like some uh, something out of Grimm's fairy tales. D&D &D gummy bears, there you go. Or if you're of the uh, cannabis persuasion, you could have some very interesting games that could get pro <laughs> that probably wouldn't get finished if you <laughs> did them that way. <laughs> oh no! I mean, I said this last time. How much? I think they gained like forty life last game. We we're still able to smash through. That's what four fours will do for you. Let's. Uh, I think we are going to a holding pattern here again, right? Yeah, I'm gonna preordain. Ooh, ooh, I like this a lot. Oh, man, I like this a lot, a lot. I'm going to say bottom, top. You have to eliminate immediately. Just this will go like this. Oh, we can't do it, can we? This isn't an artifact. Dang it. One, two, three, four, 
five. If this uh, could sacrifice and didn't tap, you could you could pay the one like this and then pitch it, but that's not how magic works. Cancel. Attack. Will Robinson. Ha! Ah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'll go all in here. Let's go. Don't get big, Vanguard. Clark Can Shaman shows up here. Could be a thing. I don't want to trip that jar. At this stage, it doesn't look it. We're, we're hurting for uh, resources. We need like one or two. Uh, just one or two more permanents out there. By the way, by the way, thank you for joining me, everybody. I know you've got plenty of options on a Saturday. I'm glad you made propaganda yours. And if you tune in in about four or five years, I'll probably have this list figured out to where it's 4-1-ing uh, or 5 0 even. Just like most decks, it's a few few sets away. Speaking of sets, the new uh, Baldur's Gate. Never played that game. One of my best friends really was into it, though. That one comes out pretty soon. That should be pretty good. What are the top three decks, in my opinion? Oh, you got to go You know, pretty much your Grixis Affinity. I have to put Demir and, and Fairies right behind it. That'd be my off the cuff guess. Boros probably in fourth. Very damn reach. I'm surprised we got one game off, and especially the first game. Come on, Shaman. I love giving the Shaman flying and then just, ha! Ah, he's just throwing crap off his little kite. <laughs> I used to die to this. Now I'm alive. Oh, if I could only make that inventor an artifact. Is this better as a secret? I don't think so. We'll do this. We'll tap this for this, 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 and this. Might as well, right? Wham! I'll do that. Oh, that was dumb, because you can block there, but we're still pushing four. On the radar for bands for me? No, you've, you've been out a very interesting sequence of time. Uh, I don't know if you know, like, um, a Tog and Disciple got banned. Map got unbanned. There's probably ten YouTube videos about it somewhere. Yeah, I don't know, sneaking in damage. I can always regenerate it with the jar. It suggests trading the frog might for something other than the vanguard here with the uh, the 4-4 being about. So I don't know if that's a full punt. It's definitely on the radar, the, the punt dar. Yeah, so now it's not a punt. Haha. -ha. I'll trade that all day long. We've already got another one, unless he's got a trick. Oh, no, it's a trick. It's a trap. At long last, a streamer for Popper. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Jarmond. Nine. Yikes! Not something you expect to see. And we've got the answer, but that's not an artifact, you see? At least he's doing it on uh, defense. Okay. It'll be so funny if we 2 0 L's. I doubt that will happen. I doubt we will win. I don't have to take back the punt. We still got a card for a card out of the deal. A deck that can get to uh, Hellbent very quickly. I haven't played Elves in well over a year. Quickest way to get me off of a list, like Boros Boli or something, is uh, when everybody starts playing it. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> That's why I could probably never be like a pro-level player. Just be like, this is the best deck. Here's all the data that shows it. Is everyone playing it? Yes. I don't want to. I'm going to go make something over here. Find some new shiny thing. Call it my own. 
Yeah, if I could wave a wand, I really want Bastion Inventor to be an artifact. It comes up so many times. A welding jar could have saved it. Uh oh. Ring the dinner bell, children. Timberwatch Elf is entered the building. I have a deck called Blood Elves that has a pretty consistent way to give a lot of these creatures haste. But it's still not really worthy of showing showing off. Yeah, so my boy and I, now it's been four weeks straight every Sunday. We skipped two weeks. It just didn't happen, so I'm collapsing those. But I was on that kick with Blackburn, the, my Blackburn, not the one that's... Um, it's a lot pure, uses the Okiba gang. And uh, I won like three or four straight. And the last few, he was getting second. So we were going one, two. And then the last like three, he's gotten first and I've gotten second. And so it's just been this really fun little like train. See, so tomorrow we're going and I'm probably going to bring my Azorius Temple list from last week. Got it in paper now. So uh, get what cards. Oh, yeah, Dust to Dust. I finally ordered a full set of uh, The Dark, which is when I started playing. And uh, good times. Well, we can't do much of anything. And here comes Timberwatch. We have to kind of play to our outs here. Um, I'll bring the big fatty out. Dead to a lot of things here. But that Quirin Ranger is really giving us a headache. So, um... Uh, we really needed to top deck either thought cast there or a um, Clark and Shaman. I guess we still could. Kite Sail would do wonders here because then, uh, but then Jasper Sentinel just blocks it with Timber Watch backup. So this one's going going dark very quickly. Looks like we're going to game three. Depending on what we he draws here, we might not even get out of this one. Be timid. Be timid. Don't be bold. That's my job. Well, okay. Boink. I've got tricks too, see? Yeah, see? Oh, very nice, Nimchimsky. Good timing. Yeah, it's one of those cards... You never know, you know. That's why I don't really ever get rid of cards, but I never happen to have them, and it always seemed like a clunky thing, and now they're just so, so great. But, yeah, they're pristine. I can't imagine something that has been in existence for as long as I've been playing since, like, what, 94 is when I started um, in the dark, and they look mint. And I said just, like, I'm not anal retentive like that. I'm just, like, if if I can read it and stuff, I'm like, that's fine. Whatever is is available it said like near near mint or something. And I'm like, that's a lot better than near mint. Well, we got some part of the equation down, don't we? Problem is he just targets his own dude with that, so. What am I doing? Let's just uh We'll go to game three. Don't want to waste time. And target that on tabs, boom, 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 boom. Dead. So fast forward fifty seconds. All right, Clark Ken, where were you hiding? Let's let's divide it up with a superstitious angle here. We'll go like that. See, uh, I kind of missed this kite sail, even though those sentinels were there. Hmm. The scale of the tooth, the tooth of the scale. We'll just do the OCD shuffle here. Enchantment control. Yes. And yeah, it was a fan deck we played, what, about two months back. Again, anybody out there really wants their thing showcased, uh, we're happy to do it. If you want a league outing, that's uh, obviously if you foot the bill, we're, we're all in. But every once in a while, we'll get somebody to come out. But yeah, it was the last time we played in an enchantment control list and actually did pretty decent. I didn't delete it. I've got a lot of decks and actually... I really regret I, I purged a lot of my decks. I just got in this cleaning mood and it, it was just getting too much. There was an ocean of just 
thousands of decks. And so I got it down to maybe a hundred now. But of course, every day I'm looking at it going, oh, I've, and I got to build that shell again, or I forgot I got rid of that or whatever. But I went a little too crazy with my underscores, which I know Shirazamon liked. That's why I put an underscore here because they'll show up first. So if I'm on a list pretty regularly, I'll put that. But then I started getting like eight, nine, ten of them, and it was just this ocean of, so I'm promising myself I'm not going to go more than two. And that way, you know, down here I don't I don't have these ones to play and such. So, yeah, I used to have to scroll about eight pages to get to the bottom of my deck lists there. Ho! <laughs> Already at the end of round four? What's going on? Come on, Clark, Clark, Clan, Shaman. Man, that's hard to say. Let's get an explosive hand. I was tempted to go to three of these, but oof. Man, when they show up, that's when you win. So that's why I play four. Otherwise... This deck really misses that Salamander. Man, when I used to be able to play that 6, 7, and 8 Mur Enforcer, that was beautiful. And you can play the Improvised 3-3 three, three guy. Um, what is his name? Uh, but it's not enough card for the disruption it causes. I've, I've, found, I've had many builds where I use it, and it like time walks you, and you get a 3-3 three, three out of it. It's kind of like, hey, look, guys, improvise. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's impressive with the Bastion Inventor 4 4 hexproof, but yeah, it's not that great otherwise. So, Sorenzo's caretaker. Oh. No. We want to draw stuff. All right. This is a pre. Uh, this is a weird hand. Very weird. Predicated on uh, not having that many Mer Enforcers. Good grief. One, two, and then we're stuck. I think we ship this, guys. We really have nothing to do if uh, we just have so many turns. We're going to have to wait, 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 and then we'll have some big puke turn, but... Uh, and the only payoffs, you know, maybe we can keep a gut shot out. I'd rather chance the mulligan and finding uh, the shaman in a better better hand. The mulligan. I like this one a lot. I still have the thing. We've got triple artifacts. We'll keep. I think we'll get rid of the... So we'll get rid of the pedal. All right. Ba -ba -da -ba -bum. Yeah, Popper EDH is pretty awesome. I really wish Rainbow's, Rainbow Stairwell would come back. That was like 10 years back. I used to play that a lot with Little Fight, and uh, man, it was a neat format. Cast this. Play this, sit back, and wait for Oblivion. Come on, Shaman, show up. Well, there's an easy target. I guess we should technically wait and see if we draw the Shaman. So then we can uh, save our gut shot for something. Don't like that card. Ruins our plan, at least for a turn. Yeah, I think it's a bad play to gut shot there. If I top deck into it, you never know. Well, let's do this. And okay. Next turn, but now we're forced to do it here. Oop, plop. Uh, clunky hand, clunky hand. And that clog pipes over here, metal pipes. Just those, that big rusting echo sound. You could just hear this guy just, <laughs> just trying to come out. Rainbow stairwell, uh, five one drops. 
and they have to be of each color five two drops and they have to be one of you know you have to have one green one red and uh, and that goes all the way up to it the math works out it's really beautiful i think you end at five on the curve or six and each one has to be represented so like red usually lightning bolt or you know extra paint for black or either well bad example there because you're not going to grab multiples but yeah a lot of fun jeez we're just mana for days here uh how much are these costing now three of course it costs three Ugh! damn it i don't want to play that out that might be worth it for that this is rough good news is our opponent's having a bit of problems here Another thought cast. Maybe it'll pave the way for victory if we can find Clark Kane Shaman. But if we give our opponent much more time, we're going to be dead in the water. Don't mind that at all. Don't mind that at all. I don't like all the shuffling in Commander. You get that many cards, that many players, and it's just... Just ocean of just now i'm gonna shuffle now i'm gonna shuffle now and it's a shuffle it's 100 cards you know it's not some one two three and you're done a lot of repeatability here all right now we can do stuff problem is our opponent just let the stampede what did they find i might want to start playing good magic here oh a whole lot of nothing we'll kill that all right, let's do some stuff here. Now yeah, we're off to the races. Boy, if we top deck either Thoughtcast into a uh, Shaman or the other, it's going to be good times. All right, now we're playing with gas. Boom, boom, boom. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. One, two, three, four. And we'll get it flying next turn. And attack for 14. That'll be fun. Too bad it took us three turns of sitting around doing absolutely nothing. I still don't feel like we're out of the woods here. One explosive player or creature, and we're going to have to answer it. Forces us in a top deck mode, so I think I might have to uh, really remember that I want to really have four Clarks. That's what I learned today. Uh-oh. Here comes a big draw spell. Draw six. Boing! The Distant Melodies. Our fake rock band from one of our promos, right? Yeah, boy, I wish I lived in Bellingham. I love that place when, we, when I got to meet you, Nichols. It was raining the whole time. Food was good. The magic was great. Awesome. Easy to fall in love with a place when you're there for leisure, I guess, but very picturesque town. Plus, I stayed at that, I think it was called the Ballard Inn, and it looked just like the artwork from um, Tormenting Voice. So much so, I know it made it into our little promo. Do we got a little ray of hope here? They've got seven cards, but we've got a really destructive turn here. Zero Club! Awesome. Thanks for joining us, my friend. 59 viewers. Wow. We're up there a ways. I got to start playing better, damn it. Well, I guess we'll keep that back for surprise. We'll play the jankiest card that's great in this list. Boop. Outside of that, let's attack. Keep back the surprise value. Still not out of the woods here. Bum, 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 bum. That's a whole lot of damage. Uh-oh, that this is an intimidating play. They could have blocked there, obviously, multiple times, but this feels like they got an explosive, like, timber watch hand, which shouldn't be a big surprise, being that we just saw a distant melody fill up their hand there. We are in search of either a thought cast into Carcan Shaman or just naturally just draw it. Because we can give it flying and then just keep pecking at elves. That's always a fun trick. Get rid of our own frog mite. This guy's very... Uh, just set up, set up, set up. Propaganda when dealing with elves, you're never out of the woods. 
<laughs> That's a popper Tim line, my friend. He's our resident dad joke specialist, but it looks like he's a he's got a contender. Hi, I write from Tiago Fuente. You is fantastic. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Stick around. We'll show you all kinds of things you've never seen before. Sights and sounds, all kinds of stuff. If you're new to propaganda, we we really showcase a lot of uh, custom MTG commercials and stuff. Like we've got a all kinds of little skits. I'm a video editor by trade, so I tend to really overdo it on my stream and treat it like a TV show compared to most. But and again, if you can help out, uh, Chris at Carousel Games out in the UK, he's our sponsor today, letting us throw caution into the wind and take a rogue list like this. I call it Blue Zero. If we could show up the deck list, I'd appreciate it. Uh, Nim Chimsky or Shirazman, uh, resident moderators, and uh, you know, put our feet to the fire and see how it goes. I know kite sail looks like jank, but on a four-four hex proof, it's pretty nice, and it's really fun tech with uh, the shaman once you uh, go up against elves. Oh boy, are we gonna get out of this? I don't know. Man, I really want to draw that shaman. That's gonna feel so good because we can just keep repeating using him once we equip him with the kite sail. Thank you for sure, Rosamond. Thank you, Nimchipski. My oldest is home for the summer. He's headed off to boot camp. I'm really enjoying his military stay. It's funny, he's kind of rolling his eyes at college and really finding a lot of purpose and focus and friends and all kinds of other things in, in the uh, ROTC program out here. Which was originally just to help the whole funds of college, but Feeling more and more like a scam these days. The prices they're charging people and going in infinite debt. Who knows? Yeah, soldiers. Yeah, that's another deck that's just so... Every once in a while, that'll run me over, and I'm like, why are people playing this? But... Just like this list, you know, you, any deck can have those like, holy crap, you know, bam outings and you just marvel at everything. Alrighty, down go two big fatties. That sucks. This is one we're glad that the uh, Bastion Inventor isn't an artifact. Yeah, Jasper Sentinel's not long for the world. The problem is there's multiples. I still haven't seen a uh, Aquarian Ranger show up. What on earth is in their hand? 14 cards. I don't mind our opponent drawing a lot of cards when they have to pitch them all. Aquarian Ranger is really going to ruin my day if that shows up. Can't I be blessed with just the top deck of the Shaman and just end this game? <laughs> Five buck box challenge. Drama nine. I like your style. Yeah, put that box under a under a rock for a few years, come back, and it's probably like fifty dollars. That's a problem. Big problem. I'd either need a gut shot, which I've already seen one of. There are six cards and forty seven that can really help us. Discounting the uh, thought cast draw here. No tappers. This card. Six. Boy, if we ever needed a drum roll, it's right now. That was a pretty good gleeful sabotage. Come on, something good. Ugh, not that. Dies either way. Uh, it's been fun. Looks like we're going to lose to elves. I keep these cards of mystery in my hand. That's painful. And they've got another one back there. Dang it. Well, you know, maybe we top deck it next turn and they really go all in here. And if you're just joining us, we're waiting to draw Clark Can Shaman, which we will put the kite sail on and then we will sacrifice 
the frogmite and a bunch of other stuff and wipe the board and our shaman will still remain because it will have flying. Another neat little trick against this style is if we have our scale of Chiskoro, we can activate it, make this shaman a 1-2 and then pump for 1. Wiping out about 90% of their value list here. Where Did he just side out Quarian Rangers? Thank God. I mean, finish me off here. What's going on? That'll help. Very curious what our opponent's hand is here. The way he's drawing, maybe we'll deck him first, right? It's a blue zero, draw too many cards list. All right, there's the dinner bell again. We've got a turn. Now, their life is way too healthy. So we have to draw it now. We're just ultra dead. Starting with this. I guess we block. Boy, coming over with the Sentinel. No respect. Quarian Ranger showed up. Yeah, this this is uh, we're headed to one three land real quick. Shaman, shaman, shaman. I'll take that cast too. Or preordain. Come on. <sighs> All right. Let's roll to a commercial. Back for the last round. Boop. I'm actually very happy with how well the texture of the Bondo turned out, and I'm pleased that it stuck as well as it did to the Blasted Dip, because I really wasn't sure on that. Now, I'm a little concerned about the wooden shaft and, and the wooden point for some cons, but for most, I'm sure those will be just fine. But I think it looks awesome. What do you think? Wow. Odin, amazing job as usual. But hey, why don't we put it back where it belongs so we can go play with it finally? And that's how Odin makes. Pests can cause some serious damage to your home. Prevent that damage with a visit from one of our certified snuff out experts. A careful study of your home may reveal common pests like cockroaches and even worse. Termites. From casting down cockroaches to terminating termites, we are removal, and our work is guaranteed for life. Snuff out exterminators. It's basically free. And we're back with a really good hand. We'll keep this outside of a divest, which we ran into game one. All right, let's see if we can get some redemption with the Boros. Boop -a -doo. Time to puke. Don't mean to be crude, but this kind of resembles a puking hand, right? Good example when you can just put so much on the table that it's just uh it happened. But we're vulnerable. I'd really like to have a uh, uh welding jar out. But if they have some, you know, draw rock play here, you know, they're gonna be taking a uh, quite a bit of damage. Stefanso, ha ha, all right, good to have you with us. And it's these kind of hands why you love to play this list. You know what? I've gone second every time. I've kept kept my promise. One away from the uh, Mer Enforcer going away. I'd like to really draw a jar or the uh, dude. Okay, there's a blocker. Now a scale or a tooth or anything really here. That's a good sign. I want some blockers here. Respect that play. Duck cast. No, not that. All right, we're kind of stuck. Slow roll on this bit. Darn it. Alrighty. I think this might be better in our hand. I'll play it. Last round. 
one three. The beginning of that second round felt like we were off to a two zero. Here we go, up, up, and away, but our hopes got dashed rather quickly. Is that the secret to your list? Go second. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you miss the top of the show, um, you always have to go second. It's not there. Okay. I, I need something to show up. I need any of our uh, flashy tricks being scale or tooth of Chiscor to make them pay for blocking. Welding jar. Eh, it's a little suboptimal at this point. I mean, it'll help them reinforce it eventually, but something good. All right. That's something good. It'll find stuff, but that's good. All right. Tooth is good. We'll throw this bottom. We'll throw this top. And we'll attack and uh, go like that. Bye bye, Sky Fisher. Of course, it costs us a card, but I get to keep reusing the tooth. Boop. But for such an explosive draw, that Sky Fisher play really stultified our development there. Should be like an eight. Another scale in our Ornithopter will have really good defense going on here. They've got to have a Galvanic Blast by now. They would have done it before I draw, right? I'm hellbent. Hmm. Well, that's good times. I'm thinking of putting that on the uh, Frogmite. Jinkity jink jink. Sure. If he's got removal. I'm going to kind of divvy up my resources here. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, what's he got? An ephemerate, gain two life, play after the block. What's the scenario here? That suggests what it is. I use my tooth. Now we see if he's got a galvanic blast. No secrets in our hand. Propaganda. Let's go. Okay, lesser two weevils, as they say. Oh, now we're completely naked. Frustration. Now the slow grinding noise of the build back as we are hellbent. And this, my friends, is with eight lands is when you start drawing your lands. I've already drawn two of them. This is flooded for this list. That's why I call it zero. Here comes the engine. Hey, there you go, Nichols. One of my top three movies of all time. I was so oddly proud of, I'm always proud of my boys, natural parent thing, and they're awesome kids, but they're men, I should say. But one of my proudest moments was really weird. I showed my youngest master and commander, and in this day and age with phone faces and stuff, you know, sitting through five minutes of something is one thing. He sat there enthralled the whole time and looked at me afterward and said, that was one of the best movies I've ever seen. And I was just like, oh, so glad we see eye to eye on that because it's, you know, at first glance, doesn't seem that kid friendly. All right. Remember when I said I wish I top decked better? Well, that's really good. Let's do this. Boop, 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 boop. We'll tap. I'd rather have the blockers. We'll tap this. We'll tap this to solve the riddle of you can use it twice. And I'm not going to be blocking with Ornithopter, so I'll put this down. Now we'll do the old fashioned kite sail on top it. And uh, hope we draw a scale so we can get out of a Skyfisher double block land. Did you enjoy deck bu building challenges? I'm not quite sure what you mean there, Nichols. Hmm. If 
we get too flooded, we can just start throwing that kite sail around, but that's a pretty blah play. It's blah enough that we have to play it, but we just need that evasion to get over the top of a lot of these lists. Chimera Crossroads. I guess more colorful version of Radiant Fountain, but it does come into play tapped. There's a lot of that going around. Uh-oh. We headed to one four land. All right, I can't activate this. Just showcased one of the drawbacks of Tormod's Crypt in this scenario. Note to self: we'll keep that untapped. Funny how often that's relevant. All righty, I'll bring back Kite Sail and throw it on this. Come over for five. I wish that was a, a lot of things, just not a silver bluff ridge. If you can, if you're watching on YouTube later, please like and subscribe. Helps us out. We've got quite a few followers and such on Twitch, almost rivaling YouTube. Maybe that's where my home's at. Come on over, Glint Hawk. Four Four Hexpro provides a very interesting problem. Well, this just screams uh, like trickery, doesn't it? It's just, I guess I'll do what makes sense here. like the double skyfish block here. Let's see where it turn in here. A lot of good options. <laughs> Weird that we have the same number of lands as a normal deck. We run eight. Looking at three. Duck cast, please. No? All right. Uh, da, 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 da. We've got an infinite blocker here if I just wait around. Our life total is enough. I don't know really what we're waiting for. A lot more scales and stuff to show up, right? Keep that card back as a secret, and we'll just pass the turn. This is normally when you get pecked to death, but a 4-4 four -four with hex boots that flies is pretty good. Let me draw some artifact hate. Not sure if that'll happen to main deck, though. We have the option for the recursion combo of the uh, dude coming down now that our Tormod script is untapped. Oh yeah, I've tried ninjas in this. You don't always have blue mana. Alrighty. It's getting away from us quick here. We, haven't, we didn't hit hard enough. We had a beautiful opener, but that early uh, Skyfisher play was really smart by our opponent there. a really good evaluation of loss of tempo versus loss of life. Like I said, when it happened, I respect that play. Yeah. Snap the back. But again, our sponsor, uh, Chris at Carousel Games, I'm just glad I'm able to throw this into the fire and see uh, still needs more evasion. Still needs a few things to really, really tick. 
You see when it works, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Here comes the value engine. I love the synthesizer. <laughs> I always like to do that cheesy eighties uh record scratch sound effect. I promise you this, if you sleeve this up and you win, it's great, but you'll never have more fun losing. <laughs> oh yeah, blue robots, yeah. It's sad, the purest in me, you know, it's hard to justify a monocolor deck anymore. It's, uh, I definitely brew them and we see them and I respect them. I just wish they were more prominent and... Yeah, we can just get burned out here if we're not careful. If we get our, what do you call, mana rock or our uh, welding jar out, I'm going to feel a lot safer here. But in the meantime, I'm just going to smash with the uh, tooth access here and at least trade for stuff. Unless he wants to just keep... Use good burn on the frogmite. Yeah, I was really trying to fit synthesizer in this list because it would, it might be the right call. It's just uh, relying on mana sources is just so chancy. All right, well, just leave it be then. Crunch. Happy trade. Can send our Mern Furser over for some fun in the air. And with that tooth, he'll be able to take out Skyfisher and Hawk might die, so it might be worth waiting for the welding jar to show up, or at least to scale. And there's the king of the potty. Oh, he's got another one. Okay. And now we have access to this we'll trip here. Shut off a little bit of the power. We're getting outpowered, though, pretty vastly here. I know Mardu Burn, right? Alrighty, let's go. That's a really good pull, isn't it? I think I just smash with the... Uh, I don't think I need to give him flying at all. I'm just going to smash. <laughs> Big old tubby body. <laughs> the new artwork for this is so much better. It's kind of a creepy quote, though. There's one. Lightning Helix. Yeah, that killed us in the uh, uh, second round. We were about to beat this matchup, and that sent us packing. Cool. Our guy lives. That's nice. Should probably start sending that Bastion Inventor over. I don't know. It's so nice to have a uh, <laughs> just a roadblock that you cannot kill. Like this mystery card, they're probably assuming I'm holding a Galvanic Blast. We don't play those. Those icky red cards. I have, I have, every time I see Foundry Helix, I'm like, okay, tonight, I'm going to focus on that and make a new archetype and make a thing about it. And it's like, nope. I end up building, 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 and then I arrive at a list like our opponent's got. And I'm like, why not just make this a one drop? Reminds me of the old border posts. Return lands and play Boros Tribe again, right? That's going to keep a minute. Laugh as, as you will about that kite sail, but it's what's keeping us alive. I don't want to change that. But as far as what did we learn, which is a segment I like to roll to. 
I learned, make sure I'm still on the air, yeah, that I'm going to make room for the uh, fourth shaman because I don't want to lose to elves. I have to win games two and three. I can't rely on winning that first one like we saw. That's an anomaly. Oops, went back to my left-handed moves here. That's cool. It's getting close to just smash time, but not that close. Let's attack. I have multiple galvanic blasts here. Come on. Really like to see a thought cast. Anything other than lions. Even the tooth are fine with the frog mites. Those are good times. That's cool. It's got a ephemerate showing up here. Say so okay to that. Won't pump here. If it's got blast, I'll probably use it here. Does he take five? It's probably got the ephemerate move, right? Three life is gained. Two creatures down. Well, that feels pretty good. They just have too many toys? Is that what we're running into here? I'll drop this. He's probably like, stop! There's a funny, uh, if, if you're a Harry Potter fan, especially of the movies, this, this reference, when Hermione, she, her little accent, you know, I think it's in the second or third film, and she says the word stop, but she's like, stop! <laughs> and it's, it comes out so overly British that we, we just laugh so hard, and so that's like a, I heard my son yell it in the background just now, if you heard that. So cool. Um, my oldest is home from college for the summer, and uh, it's just, it's awesome to see uh, him and Aaron bonding. Like, they're closer than ever, is my point. They've always been really good brothers, and, you know, but not always, you know, Alex is such a jock, and he's he's so physically gifted at a lot of things, and Aaron doesn't, he doesn't want to do a single push-up. It couldn't be more different that way. It's just fascinating how, how different they are, but then uh, how, how much, how Awesome, they're getting along. It's it's a, it's just awesome to see. So if they want to be loud in the background. I am not going to scold them this once. It'll probably be old next week. <laughs> All right, let's get some surprise value here, like a uh, welding jar. Not that big of a surprise. In response, <laughs> crunch. Oh, look at that. Hey. La -ba -ba -da -ba. Cool. We know the bolt's in their hand. I think I just attack here. My double attack. That doesn't work. Play it safe for one more turn. I'll come over for these guys. Unfortunately, one three. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, if he wants to use uh, that on that, I'm okay with that. Interesting. Okay. It's hellbent. I'm not too worried about this. Hey, it scared me. I saw that something about time. I'm like, <gasps> and I looked over. I'm like, oh, yeah, good times. Ephemerate. Eh. Yeah, I guess you can just block ephemerate, but you got to do it right now. So there goes that plan. Get another draw off the scent. Not like you're going to be attacking anyway. Let's see what we're going to get. That sucks. And we're at two. Time to start tripping those synthesizers. I sure would. Draw another galvanic or lightning bolt and send me packing. 
this is what the second round was like if you weren't there like Nichols or I know Nim was, but synthesizer. Yay. It's a plane. goes don't be burned don't be burned don't be burned it is we lose good for them and we're dead any way to gain life nope i don't know why i'm looking crunch Let's see what our next draw was going to be nothing that would help all right so they're going to bring in artifact hate that's for sure we do kind of need to keep tormod's crypt around i think we just bring in like Maybe a few Hydro Blasts. I don't want to go overboard here. I really want the scales to show up there, so. <laughs> Galerium. It's fair and balanced, I said, yeah. We'll throw out a saw. Maybe one crypt. The walkers aren't that great in this matchup. I think I'll do that. Let's keep two there. I don't want to overboard here and be stuck staring at him, but I might want the third. I love the surprise value here. I'd like him to show up. This really tempts the frog might to be able to trade with things like Skyfisher and then be able to regen. MVP, MVP, even though it doesn't look it. I guess we'll get rid of one crypt. Let's try that. All right. It's about time we have a bad outing. We've had some <laughs> pretty fun weeks. Three, two are better pretty steadily. But again, thanks to Chris at uh, Carousel Games for sponsoring us taking a rogue list like this and throwing it into the fire and see how it looks. And so far, it's catching fire. First round looked really good. We had a really close loss. And we had a bad matchup. And then you can't even say our opponent got lucky. I mean, when you play synthesizer, synthesizer, trip, 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 you're going to draw something, right? It's a great, great game plan. All right. We do not want to play first. Nope. We always go second with this list, and we will keep this. Drew half our sideboard. He, <laughs> woo, we will keep. I've done it. It's a small victory. I've gone second every game. It's not over yet. I guess we'll lead with this. I'll throw this out, and I might need to. Maybe we'll see a uh, early, uh, what do you call that? Uh, gorilla Shaman. I can use the pedal since we're really flooded here. <laughs> it's funny when you have two lands and you're really flooded. As fast as that first couple rounds is going, I thought this was going to be under about a two hour stream, but we're already over two. Okay. I can sure smell a um, dust to dust coming, can't you? Play this. Let's see what we draw first. I might want to consider holding back on. Uh... All right, we'll play a basic out. We've got another one. If they dust to dust, it's like it's not that, not that devastating really. A thought cast. Good grief! Can we draw more stuff that doesn't matter? Yeah, Bonesaw, Shield Sphere. There's so many zero artifacts. In fact, I went to go make this in... Um, would that be wanton to do that? I'm going to... I'm just going to do it to stop uh, tempo here. Probably a bad, bad choice, but... So I went to uh, my son's modern event, and then I, I built this in modern, and it, it's worse. I was There's not as many zeros in modern, and... Uh, 
I was having a lot of fun with Mem Knight and a few other things. And like I said, I've got quite a modern collection because when I used to grind a lot, I would just turn it into profits and I'd, I'd sell it, enter stuff for free, keep the gravy chain growing. But you get to a point where you, you know, that's just, you just have too much stuff laying around. So you start buying other cards and stuff. And so I've got a pretty nice little modern collection. But all right, let's go up. All righty, there's the kite sail. Hey, I'll play it, I guess. God, we got just nothing to go on here. All right. I don't think, I think I'm going to save that Hydroblast for a uh, synthesizer. Yep. Considered that too. Not a card I expected to see. I shouldn't be too surprised, though. Billy Idol shows up. That'd be so funny to hack the system and just make Lone Missionary say Billy Idol. This is where my family is trying to make the most noise ever. Where was this hand when I <clears throat> had a creature out? Well, Lone Missionary breaks our no-hair rule, right? If you were with us earlier, we were talking about how all good cards are bald. That I will commit a blast to. He might be stuck on a uh, slow hand with Glint Hawk, and I don't want to have him pay off. I got four more of them where that came from. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's that's the argument, Nimchinsky. All right, now Glint Hawk's got some other options. It's just so obvious what he has in his hand here. Come on out, Hawk. Or Skyfisher, if you want to prove my first one wrong. Dawnbringer. All right. Come on, give me the um, give me the master, the artificer, the four four, or that. Maybe I can find it with this. Boy, am I glad I did that. I do not want these cards. We are flooded. Enough of this stuff. Good grief. Alrighty. Well, if we had another tooth, this would get really interesting. We can block and kill, at least the missionary. Be funny if it draws a. Uh, Lightning bolt, right? Huzzah! First, I'll play the scale. Scale. <laughs> scale. Does he have four artifacts? One, two, or three. I don't know if that's worthy of saving. But I have nothing on the board right now, so I'm going to save it. This deck can do a lot. It's like we're just counting the time before the graveyard engine shows up and we start eating those blasts over and over again. It's such a good deck. We needed to be so much faster than we were. And our deck is just handing us lands after lands after lands. Thank goodness that preordained showed up. We were able to throw some back, but you can't stop fate, I tell you. Yep. This is a pretty heavy red list. 
For some reason, I thought I would be overboarding, but I think I should have probably put all four hydroblasts in. This definitely leaning on red. This is when you want to play my. Uh, these are the kind of lists I just love when I'm playing my untouchables list. The pro red guys, they're unblockable, life gain, and because decks like this, it's like can't blame them. They lean on red so over the top hard. It's like they don't throw any journeys in there or anything. It's just red, 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 and you make them pay, baby. Well, hold on a minute here. I can use two of this to do this. I'll tap this. I'll use this for mana. I'll use this for mana. I'll use this for mana. And uh, this too. Why not? Oop, there we go. Should I use it? Should I use it? Maybe I just keep it back, eh? Yeah, just in case he's got some art artifact stuff. Give him a whole turn to kill our kite sail plan. There's nothing flying yet. <sighs> Thought cast, uh, Tormont's Crypt. Would be kind of nice. I don't know. Maybe we can get there. We've got a welding jar out, so that got really good drawing that. So we'll do this to this plan. And attack. And play the tooth. Screw it. Pow. <laughs> they got prismatic strands be like no I wish it was colorless but even here we don't really have to crack the jar outside of catastrophic damage for the more enforcer because we've got the scale and we can even react if he's got two but if they play like that we should be winning 23 life maybe we'll get them on time right Nim? If a fem rate shows up, this is not going to be fun. That feels so great. And he's back. <laughs> I didn't even have to use the jar. No. Here comes the value train. Choo choo. <laughs> Just hear it. It's like a. One of those 80s Transformers turning into greatness. Well, Galerium and our opponent's defense, they're getting low on time, and not many people play the scale. They probably thought it was a tooth. If you squint real hard, it looks almost identical. I will never stop playing this list about every six months. I just love... Love playing it. This is in that little toolbox of obviously not any tier, but if you if you feel kind of like, eh, just not feeling magic anymore, but you don't want to fall out of love, you, you play something like this, and it's, I don't know, just it's very invigorating. Even when you're losing, it's a fun list. I dig it. A lot of decision trees. Not as many as our opponent's list, though, that's for sure. Mystery card, you shall stay. Any flyers? Go away. Attack! Attack! To keep stuff honest here. Is Billy Idol long for this world? Or does he have ephemerate, an ephemerate haircut headed our way? All right. Tooth will make an appearance. Tooth for five. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe he's a bit dyslexic like I am. Who knows? A lot of options under the sun. Yay! Nothing card. Still get value out of it. I cannot believe they printed that thing. <laughs> well, we took my uh, Boros Tribe list out. What was that like two weeks ago? Had a nice, nice outing with that, but that just feels so broken. One of our fans sent us the new um, low to the ground red deck with this synthesizer goblin plan. That was pretty fun. Alrighty. Let's block uh, this dude. 
Well, I'll throw one on there, see if it lives. How cool, Nimchimsky. Thanks for digging that up. If you didn't learn anything today, well, at least you learned that. So we take three. Alrighty. Really respect this style, man. Just life gain, recursion. Keeps them in it. Well, we got a good blocker here. No sense in not attacking. Let's go. I think at this stage I'm going to keep my tooth back. Just discourage any sort of attack here. Even against like ninjas and stuff, this kind of a board, they have to commit good removal for pretty block cards that help us accelerate early, but won't lie, definitely not the best top deck, but we do get a blocker out of the deal, right? Alrighty, well, obviously we're going to try to kill that. Take three. I'd like this to live more than the Ornithopter. Rock like this. We'll hit scale. We'll hit tooth in case he's got... We've seen lightning bolt. We've got welding jar backup plans here, so... All right. Got two galvanic blasts or something. Headed for our face. Another scale. That's pretty good times. He's got two galvanic blasts. We know that one of them's there. Well, there's nothing we can do about that, is there? We could stay to nine, though. I can't play like that. We gotta go like this. Yeah, that one damage is going to sneak in and make the double galvanic blast the end, end, end shot, I think. Oh, or that. Okay. Maybe I gave our opponent a little too much credit there. In that case, I'm glad I double attacked. Rock like this. Just too much life gain. I think between the uh, double missionaries, multiple clerics, golden eggs being cracked, crossroads, probably would have had this game in the bag, but that's why they build it that way. Every once in a while you run up against burn, especially in the last few weeks. It's been everywhere, so people are starting to main deck missionaries and clerics. Very respectable play. We don't got to respect nothing. What's this? All right, missionary's got to go. First block here, first block here. We'll do a scale technology. Whoosh, whoosh. Making sure to read our own cards. We don't do it in the wrong sequence. Tooth. Walker doing some work on defense. Shall we win on time? Uh-oh, there's one of them. Has he got the other one? That card has sent us packing like four games. Well, guys, I didn't see it coming, but we saw it coming. Started strong. Lost, 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 lost. Let's, uh, oops. Let's go over the list here. Changes made. I just don't think the cards exist quite yet. 
definitely one of the weaker cards. This looks to be it, but as we saw, that's kind of our big win condition and super defense condition against things like Boros. Um, I do believe, though, I'm going to want four Clark and Shamans in this. But I highly recommend this as far as a fun deck to play. Uh, again, not that I have ever done it, but since uh, not playing with house money, courtesy of uh, Chris at Carousel Games, I appreciate the faith. That way we're able to throw things like this into the fire and see if they burn or if they explode. In this case, uh, we didn't do too hot, but I'm, I, I still just like this list just too damn much. It's, it's so much fun. But I'm always on the lookout for zero casting cost artifacts. Um, a lot of utility, blockability against uh, ninjas and such. It's so close to being a thing, but as we saw, not a tournament thing as of today. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for uh, hanging out with me. Next week, I don't think uh, we've played so many leagues. And like I said, my, my views are kind of going like this since we've been playing leagues. I think people miss kind of the community aspect of it. So we've got plenty of, of funds, never mind that. But um, if something comes out and screams to be shared, maybe we'll, we'll throw it in there or whatnot. But I've um, been really trying to get my... Um, death touch list that I, I i think i got like 11 or 12th place in a challenge about a year or two back and uh you know varying degrees it's gotten a lot of like five o's in, in the right metagame but now it's like i've always been trying to like oh should i somehow maybe try to make that work again and there's nothing like you're not supposed to do this that it attracts me it's like you know just this big steaming steak you know same with like white infect you can't do that oh yeah so um i've been kind of zeroing in on that so um anyway so we'll be back next week and uh same time same place saturday thanks for joining me everybody here on propaganda we're gonna go out with a few little uh fun things in our little shadow mage theater that i like so much if you like puppetry and such check it out we'll see you next time guys thanks for joining me <laughs>